Okay, we are going debonair Leona. And a lot of us have been anticipating and be wanting this kit. How long have we been waiting? Actually, let's look at our abilities. I want to see my recall. I always forget to do my recall, honestly. Oh. Oh. Okay. I don't know who, who is shooting her. Um, but she's just casually... Um, doing that, I guess. And I, I love this, like, transparent type of, like, thingy-majiggy. This trail moment. Not really a trail, but you know what I'm talking about. It's actually really pretty. Love the hair. And it does look like she's also, like, well-armoured. Like, not just, like, scandals or whatever. She's actually, like, well-armoured and her shield is very, like, intricate. But it looks like it can also, like, actually be a shield. Um, off-topic. Uh, YouTube, um, will be, they want to, like, make, they want me to do, like, a YouTube short, um, for, like, a sponsor moment, and I, I'm having a little trouble on thinking, like, what YouTube short I want to do, so what they want is for me to recreate, like, some sort of League of Legends moment, so my original idea was, like, I would do, like, a two, 2010 recalls versus, like, 2021 recalls, right, because back then recalls were, like, just standing still, and then like nowadays because they're like so like extravagant like um so i was thinking like maybe i could like reenact that and like recreate that like in real life and that would be my shot or i could do like death animations like i always love like ari's death animation or leblanc death animation like oh like they're just like so exaggerated and just like so cunt like so cunty so i was thinking like um maybe i could do that like the problem with the, the recall one is like i would have to like edit in like the recalls and stuff like that in the effects which might be like out of my ability um but like doing like death animations like putting like Ari's like sound effects would be like easy so I'm not too sure which one I would do but just a little off topic thing um let's jump on this I'll just ignite and she should die nice I'll stun him um I didn't actually get a good look at my ear because I was so focused on <laughs> if I w if I didn't have 220 ping or 190 ping because I'm playing on PBE so PBE is like based in America and Australia um, I probably would just flash EQ him but I don't really trust my ping which is kind of annoying like I can't do much so let me just, just let me just E this okay so her E like this could be like because I'm colorblind but it looks like harder to see like in the normal skins, her E is like yellow, like when you Zenith Blade, right? But this Zenith Blade is like, it has an effect, but it's like this reddish color or whatever. And I, because I'm like red green color, but I don't know if that's like the reason why. I, I've had a, I feel like I have a harder time seeing the E behind this like, or on top of this like green, green like grassy, you know, moment in the background um let me get even shout i actually have not touched by the way i have not really touched that many time spots as you guys have probably noticed on my youtube channel i've been putting out a lot of like builds and like random stuff and i've just been cycling through like whatever i find looks like interesting i haven't actually had a chance to like try leona um i think people are doing lots of leona glacial i don't know if it's good or not like in theory i think it would be good but we can just see for that and even shout i haven't really tried too much the reason why I haven't really touched like the Leona and all that because it, it's just like very obvious like everyone would probably know that this is good. I want to like test out builds that are like oh people have probably not have thought of this or people would not have like touched this all that much. So I kind of like stayed away from Leona because it's, it's very like like of course it would be good because Leona is like good in general. Love all your YouTube videos, thank you. Oh I didn't get that because I got the ad. I'll, t I'll take notice of my W. Okay. My W is really pretty, but yeah, because like the colors are a lot different, I'm having a harder time noticing it. But then again, that could be just being being colorblind. But that could also be like an advantage, like maybe like pay to win skin. Um, you could probably like get some. I can probably eat that. This dragon should be good. Oh, I didn't need a um. Um, I didn't need a uh, ignite. I didn't expect that damage, honestly. First 
What is that flash? Oh, is he talking about my flash? Maybe he's upset that I took it the kill, but whatever. It's maybe deal with it. I'm good, Cyan. How are you? Oh. I'll be fine. Thank you for the heal. This is exactly what I was afraid of. Is Vex supposed to flop? She's actually the ADC. Oh, I don't know why I ordered that. She's actually the ADC, which. Um, I don't think Vex ADC works. Think about it, Sir JJXC. The only time I would possibly see Vex ADC work is if you're versing I really ADC. But people haven't gone I really ADC in like forever. The last time. It was actually OCE, like for the first time in forever or ever, OCE, OCE like inspired something. <laughs> so I remember probably like last year or so, in tournaments they did like Leona, sorry, they did like I really at ADC with very aggressive supports like Alistair or Leona or whatever. And the reason why is just like I really just like someone had such lane presence and like could like destroy everyone and she like has consistent damage, so it's like whatever. Um, I think it's very much like a duo thing, like not definitely not a solo thing, but like it was mostly like pro players like dueling with each other and just doing I really ADC. I don't know if it was inspired by Korea or if OC was the one that did it because I'm pretty certain it was OC that did it. I don't really know if it like actually got further than OC. I don't think so. Like I don't actually remember like other regions trying it or doing it, but um, OC definitely I remember it's like there was a moment like this influx of like freaking I really ADCs. Not that I don't think they'll do it again, um, but that, that would be probably the only time I would see Vex working against it because Vex passive, she can um, create a mark on those who like... Oh, I'm trying to get the echo. Oh. So, um, Vex can create a debuff on someone who, whenever they dash around her and when, when she auto attacks them or uses her abilities on them, it procs the effect for an extra damage so just kind of like Imperial Mante in a way, but just inbuilt her in her passive and it happens indefinitely. They're reversing like Sylvan I really who dashes all the time, like she definitely counters. Oh yeah, I mean if, if you're reversing Kalista as well. Not that, <laughs> not that you ever see Kalista, <laughs> but... Yes, it would also beat Callista. Oh, so true. You probably should have just altered the wave if you wanted to like do that. If you alter the wave, the minions can push in and maybe they can die. But I'm um, just kind of she's level six, so maybe not. Oh, the floppery, the floppery. No one's lower. <laughs> it's my flop hex tech flash. Thank God that she didn't actually commit the vex. Very pretty back skin. Do they need help? I guess they need help and I should go help them. They changed to crab, so crab doesn't give as much XP anymore. So I actually don't know if it's like worth Like apparently junglers don't fight for the crab anymore. Like it's not. Oh. So true. Oh, so true. Um, so they don't fight for the crab anymore. Back then, I, I, was, I, I would always hate when bitches like would sacrifice their lives for like a crab or like sacrifice my laning phase for a shitty crab. Like it aggravates me. Right, they would flash for the scuttle, they would die for the scuttle. It was like, was this worth it? Like, I'm not a jungle main, so I have no idea if it actually is worth it or not. But like from an outsider's perspective, like it's very questionable. Like this can't be it, like surely. Like surely this is not the way. Um, I'm excited to see the ultimate. Once we get our six, let's try to see if we can destroy them. Oh, not the talent ping, the gamma plan, it's PvE, my love. Just PvE. Sometimes I wonder, like, why do these people play PvE if they're gonna take it seriously? Like what? Like what are they trying to do? Like are they, they're not even trying to get like a new skin or whatever, right? Like they're not trying a new skin. 
I don't believe like anything interesting has happened, like any certain buffs or whatever, like items, because like we're already in the new season with any items, so it's like, what are you like, what are you doing, right? Like, what is there to be so serious about? It's PvE. Like, why not just play normal? It's in like normal servers or whatever, or ranked. It doesn't make any sense to me. We can actually destroy them. He's out of, he's out of mana, and I can stunlock him. Like, let me stunlock a kill. Oh. Oh, so true. <laughs> he's so squishy. I shouldn't have ulted. I did kind of see my ultimate. My ult kind of looks like, um... If I only had an ult for this. It looks like um, my W. Oh no. Oh no. I was expecting Gangplak to come, but he kind of just stood in the bush and didn't do anything. I guess he just wanted to do like some sort of assassin moment. And <laughs> this Gangplak is actually pretty questionable, but it's whatever. It's just PBE. Got my even shot. So, the Gangplank... Um, actually, let me just buy my thing first. <laughs> So what the Gangplank did, so he, I believe he was the one that pinged the Yone, like when he was com coming, so it was like, oh, let, let's fight the Yone, 3v2. He didn't come, he just sat in this bush. When he did sit in this bush, the Yone watered the bush so he could see the Gangplank, and the Gangplank was still dancing, like he was spamming his dance game, right? Like he was just still dancing, like for a good second or two, even when Yone saw him through warding. So it was like, I don't know what the Gangplank was, like, trying to achieve. Like, was he trying to get like, a jump or was he like that oblivious that he didn't know that the Yone watered? Like, if he didn't hesitate and like give time for the Yone, like he probably could have killed that. But because he was like spamming his dance, like for whatever reason, like he just didn't make it, didn't get the kill. Hi Danny. I did not use my ultimate for this, like, um, Pike if I don't need to. Actually, I should have just went on Vex. That was a, a free kill. I can't ult the guy. Because, um, he can just dash away. Ah, the damage. He chunks. The chunkation. I think he'll be fine. He won't be like, he won't die to, um, Pike. Pike execute won't kill him. Oh, wait, he's not in Pike. He's not in execution range. I can, I can actually just jump on him. Um, what the Pike should have done is for just alt me. Oh wait, he's not even level 6, lol, I just, I just remembered. <laughs> oh, I just, I just noticed he's not level 6. Not that. Um... I don't know if my Glacial saved me there. Um, cause Glacial does damage reduce. So if anyone doesn't know, anyone that's in the ice race, they do 15% less damage. So it's kind of like a tiny exhaust. Um, but he only like auto attacked me once, so I don't know if that was like the difference. Let me see the team car. Mm, I guess Yoni would be a problem. They don't really have a lot of CC. I guess this painting. And then I've been wanting to try Winter's Approach, but the only two people I can think of that would possibly be okay with this is Tarek and Blitzcrank. Like, I don't really feel like anyone else would need the Winter's Approach, because it works off mana. Like, no one has mana problem apart from Tarek and Blitzcrank, so I don't need it on the owner. Um, I'll probably see what I get later. Let me get the pike. This Yone should die. Oh. Nice. I think this Talon was playing a bit too scared, but I'm not too sure. I feel like I was being a bit scared. This guy should make you less tanky? Yes. Glacier doesn't make you take less though. 
Oh, not including a stop. Oh, okay, never mind. Glacier wasn't the reason why I left then. Oh, I, I, I never noticed that. Thank you. I did not notice that. Um, I don't need anti heal just yet. Since my Draven is my only carry, like these other people aren't really like the carries, I'm just gonna get nice foul for him so he can survive. I don't really need Zeke's conversion because Zeke's is more damage, but we already have enough damage. The problem is if Draven dies. The problem isn't us not doing enough damage, it's whether or not Draven lives or not. Um, so I'll just get nice foul for him. Oh, so it's only like less damage to our allies, okay. He definitely would be more squishy. <laughs> oh, maybe people are playing on ping. But that was like a delayed drive and all. I was surprised I didn't stun him. Yeah, so I actually really like the effects of this skin. It's the colors that are, to me, they're a lot less noticeable compared to like the bright yellows of Leona. I don't even know what colors these are. Like, are they red? Like, I don't even know what color it is. Like, what my E is giving. Or my ultimate. Black, maybe? Red, black. I don't know. What color do you guys see? I, I actually can't really tell. Gray? I have no idea. Green and silver. Oh, I'm very, I'm very off. <laughs> I'm very off, it seems. It's like gray and green. Oh, I'm very off. No wonder why I have a hard time. No wonder why I'm having a hard time seeing the colors. Because it's not green on green. Oh. Oh, my stun just ran out. I didn't cue him because my stun ran out. So maybe it's a pay to win skin against certain champions, uh, certain players. Like if you if you do Terranopia, green, red, colorblind, red, green, colorblind, maybe it's really good against that. So maybe you could use that for your, to your advantage, you know, I don't know. <laughs> maybe you could just like fuck a bitch up with the skin. You represent so much for me, Queen. Oh, thank you, Lemonos, one, two, three. You can't see certain colors. It's not that I can't see certain colors. It just things just a lot more dull. Like something that's like really really vibrant red or whatever it might be like a less might be a little dull for me. You know. Oh my god! I didn't realize it. I didn't think it was gonna die like that quickly. Oh. Normally I would be able to like side step that stun, but the pingery. Um. So it's not like I see everything gray. Like it's just things like dull or sometimes it's hard for me. Because certain things are dull, like untones and all that, like sometimes colors like look the same to me. Like I, like a light pink and a light blue, they look the same to me sometimes. Or like a light blue and a gray, like they look the same to me sometimes. Or blue and purple, or orange and red, yellow and orange. Honestly, I feel like we can fight. I guess not. Is he gonna dash over? We have Draven coming, so I'm actually not too afraid. Oh. That's why I need Night's Vow. Oh, should I actually- Oh, nice! Gangplank. Oh, period. There's a way Gangplank did that. Um, once I get my nuts out, my Draven will take less damage. How does one even discover how they colorblind? You just do those like colorblind tests, it's like those like dots, like it'll be like, what number do you see? And it's like these those dots and stuff. Um, you can just like Google a colorblind test, it'll, it'll be that. You can, do, you can always just do it on like a, like a, like a glasses shop, what do you call them? Optometrist place. I wear your name with pride, mom. <laughs> Love that. The way the enemy can't handle Lyrina, yeah. I I don't know if it's like this is um stronger than like the aftershock version or whatever. Um, I would probably have to play a little Lyrina to like see the difference or 
see a lot of Leona, but I don't really like touch Leona all that much because I I just don't really find her like as enjoyable. I didn't want to ult him because uh hello <laughs> hello. Um, like, I do think Leona is very top tier. I think the reason why people don't play Leona or Lulu, despite them being top tier, is just because, like, they're on, like, the simple boring side, so no one really likes touching them as much. Um, so it's kind of hard. Like, I don't really see too much Leona. Oh! Okay, no what's yeah. Yeah, Leona does get a bit one-dimensional. Um, if anyone's wondering, like, sometimes I get asked, like, oh, I want to get into tanking, what are your recommendations for champions, whatever. It's actually Leona. Leona's actually the easiest tank to get into. Oh. The Glacial is nice, yeah. Oh, I, I shouldn't have flashed. Nice, the Gangplank's slow, help me there. Oh my god, bitch, I'm gonna support attack. Um... Leona is <coughs> extremely easy, like the, the easiest tank to play and also probably like one of the easiest characters in general. It's because she's just so forgiving as a champion. Like, oh, what the hell? Probably doesn't play Pike. Um, it's because everything she does is just so like button mashy. You don't really need to think much about your stun, you don't really need to think much about like your E. If you go in and you make a mistake, it's okay, you have to so tanky with your W. It's a lot different from Alistar because Alistar is very like... Oh shit, I don't have mana. Alistar is very reliant on his ultimate to be tanky. His ultimate does like 50 to 70 whatever percent, depending on the rank. Damage reduction? Um... Oh, that was a good sign. And because his ultimate is his tankiness, you have to be quite selective with, of how you choose your fight. Is he troll? Is he like just this gangplank? I think I saw this gangplank like dance in front of him, so like honestly, you deserve that. Um, because you're so reliant on your ultimate to be tanky, you have to know when to ult, like at the right time. And people that aren't familiar with tanking will be quite like they won't be used to it. Hold on, let me buy my item. I'm kind of like flopping here. What am I buying? Um, I have a little bit well well ID actually. Um I can't anti heal for the year now. Because you have to be so selective with your fights and people that aren't used to tanking, they won't know when to go in and they'll be too scared to go in. Alice is not very forgiving. So Leona is like, oh, you go in, you press W, like, you become tanky, so great, so true, you know? So I recommend Leona, once you understand tanking, like, just playing the fundamentals, like, once you play Leona and understand fundamentals, uh, you can then move on to, um... So true. I don't think just be Um, once you understand the fundamentals from playing Leona, that's when you can move on to Alistar. That'll be easier. But I mean if you enjoy Alistar, like go ahead, like pop off and just jump on Alistar all you want, but I'm just going to assume that most of you the girls don't really enjoy Alistar all that much. I actually should just kill him, hello. Uh, I should have just stunned him. I, for some reason, got scared of like an ultimate, but it doesn't have all, so I don't know why I'm scared. Oh, so true. <laughs> Lol, so true. Uh, 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 is he coming for me? Oh, so true. I should have killed that. Um, I should have won the echo, that was my bad. I was too busy talking. Also, oh, I just realized, is this in preparation for Chinese New Year? Love that. That's so cool, this little detail. I actually just noticed that. Oh, I didn't even use my Night's Vow. Oh my god, so true. 
it was because I was waiting for Draven to like revive and then I went on a base like talking and I forgot to put it back on him. So true. Very fucking true. I don't know why they don't make Night Spell like global. Like it doesn't make any sense why I have to like tread back and like walk back for someone. Oh, I guess because then you could just do like a global like Soraka Night Spell moment. <laughs> That'd be a bit troll. I guess not, maybe. Maybe not then. But I wish you could just do it when someone's dead. Like you could activate it on a dead body. Like if someone's like dead and like I would have to like I can track it back for them because I cannot yet. Yeah, maybe we can get this. We can like stun lock the echo and come, but that dragon I think. And also like Leona's W, if you have enough cooldown like later down the line, her W becomes indefinite, like it lasts 6 seconds, so 3 plus 3 seconds, and then you get um... Um... Uh, oh. oh, so true. So true. It will be uh... Oh, I, I re redirected 343 damage, but I don't know that came from Baron as well. Um, what was I saying? I don't remember what I was saying. <laughs> what was I saying again? So true. I was on a tangent or something. I don't remember what I was saying. Oh, I don't think we can kill him. Oh, never mind, he's actually quite strong, so true. Did a new devil take a devil? Oh, yes, the artist. Oh, yeah, Leon is the devil being devil. So that's why it's also like quite forgiving, is because you can have your devil up all the time and be tanky, unlike, you know, Nautilus, which is like a tiny shitty shirt, or Alistair. Which, by the way, I don't actually like Nautilus. I don't actually think he's that great of a tank support, in my opinion. Like Nautilus, I feel like is only good early game, and then he falls off a lot late game. He's he's a lot less tankier than any other tank support, because all he gets is like a shield that is like ten percent of his max HP, or whatever percentage of his max HP, which is a scaling thing. Like you need lots of HP, which means you need money to buy the HP, and you get more value out of it. But as a support player you don't really get that mileage. Um so I don't really think like a 400 shield for like a 4000 HP target. Like that doesn't mean anything I don't feel. So I definitely know Nautilus is not as tanky compared to the other tank supports. Um but the the thing about Nautilus is like you kind of just want to snowball the laning phase and hope to god that you don't get into late game and you can just like destroy them before then. Um, and he does have like very easy CC and like his hook is like extremely large, his ultimate just like pointy click, so it's just easy to learn. I would say Nautilus is pretty forgiving as well. Not so, not as much as Leona, but if you, if you wanted to try learn tanking, I would say Leon, uh, Nautilus is pretty okay. For, for at least like the laning phase, to get the laning phase aggressive like skills. Um, and later down the line, because you know it's tanky, it might be a little more difficult. Thank you for the sisters of Plega. Hi, Lumi Luminum Sprint. Rel with Glacial seems so good. I actually have not tried it. I guess I should. I haven't really touched the tanks, like I said. I've just been trying like the other stuff. I think we definitely could have killed that. Is Guy Foundation Hi Guy Foundation! How are you? I think I might play my Misfortune support build in, in rank soon. But like on a you love my Lumi piece map on my LPP account. Oh, I missed that. I missed on this guy. See like Leona's very like forgiving, like to be honest, I didn't really know what was going on in that fight. I kind of like lost track of like my positioning and like where everyone went else, but that's okay because I just pressed W and like I soak up damage and I just like button mash my Q like what was in front of my face or my ear. 
So like, it's very forgiving, right? Um, and I do think the girlies, like, I, I know, like, you girls generally like playing enchantresses and mages or whatever. But I do think you should at least have like one tank, which probably would be Lyrina, in your arsenal because it kind of does. Like, tanks are. Let me buy my item, hold on. Um, what am I buying? I guess you can't go wrong with Frozen Heart. I don't really need magic armor because. or magic resist because she doesn't really dash on. But like an enchantress actually requires a lot of APM and awareness. If you get caught out on an enchantress, you're gone, bitch. Um hold on. Oh if you an APM stands for action per minute, it comes from StarCraft, the old old game. So what action per, per minute means is like how many clicks or actions or whatever. Enchantresses have more higher APM or have the high, one of the highest APMs out of any of the archetypes because they spam a lot. You know, you have to move around a lot, you have to spam your abilities off cooldown, blah 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 blah. A tank has one of the lowest APM because they just sit in your face and like pull it a day. Um, so for those who aren't as quick with like their abilities or not as aware of like the fights or whatever, Try out tanking. It might be something that's more closer to your playstyle or something you're more comfortable with until you get more used to enchantresses. Karma has a very high APM. Karma has like one of the highest, if not the highest APM, I would say. You have the ult E, ult Q, run around, ult E, ult Q, blah blah blah, auto attack, run around. And sometimes, because I've, I've seen some of the, I've seen some of your Karma games because I've done some VOD reviews on you girls. I do notice that some of you girls can't utilize Karma to like the fullest extent with like the APM. I'll just use. Hmm. Honestly, the Draven should have stayed in the bush with me instead of taking that red. I mean, I guess I just didn't have to fight that to be honest as well. Because like we can actually one shot them, and I didn't Q ult here. Because Draven was like standing all the way up here. If he was dragging the red buff here, like if the red buff was here, he was standing here. I could stun the Yone here and then the Draven could kill. But because he was standing all the way back here, like even if I were to stun the Yone, he would have to run up to the Yone. And by the time the, the stun runs out, he the Yone would just like shit on him. So one, I could have just like not taken that fight, I should just I could have just backed off, sure. And but the other thing is Draven's positioning. Because it wasn't watered, so they wouldn't have known. They were they were face shaking it like blindly, so they wouldn't have known. Sona Maxidia is insane. Highest APM. Mm. I guess so, but the thing about Sona, she's very button mashy. It's not the same as Karma. Karma is you actually have to aim, and you have to be selective with how you shield and W. Sona is not the same. Sona is the only thing you have to aim is your ult, and then the rest you can just button mash and like auto attack. So it's actually a lot more like whatever. She would only have to worry about her positioning. I just stand on top of him so you can just ult away. They, like, they do so much damage, just that my night spell. Oh, so true. Oh. They're so strong, hello. Oh, actually maybe I should get magic damage. Oh, magic armor, I kind of just realized Echo. For some reason I thought it was AD. I don't know why. <laughs> I can get magic resist and uh, mix. My turn. For some reason, I didn't even notice that he was fed. Yes, bluffing so not is so bad. The pot is too hard for me. Mid lane is too hard for me. Hi, Harris.
Wait, I'm four. I just noticed. Bro, I've been talking way too much. I haven't. I didn't even notice that I'm fucking four on the items. Um, actually, so true. So true. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm actually going to get at the anathemas. So anathemas gives health. I don't really want to buy any of the magic resistance item because the only viable magic resistance item is abyssal mask. But my da my team doesn't have any magic damage, so it doesn't matter if I shred their magic resistance. So I I won't be using it all that well. So, but I still want to be tanky against the echo and the vex. So what I can do. I'll try store down. Let me just do this. Ah! Oh. oh, nice. Let's just end this. Um, so Anathema gives health. I still want to be tanky against Echo. The health will let me be tanky against the Echo. It's not as effective as magic resistance. But again, I don't want to get Abyssal Mask. Um, and the Anathema is I would use it on the Echo because the problem with Echo is that he just ults away and then like gets all his health back. But if I can Anathema him and stun him for longer, then possibly we can lock him down fast enough or long enough for my team to kill him before he ults. But thankfully we didn't need to get to that stage. But yeah, that was Debonair Leona. My thoughts on it. Um, it's a very pretty skin, and I hope you guys enjoyed the Leona gameplay. Just like me talking about tanking and all. Again, the colors being, I guess, green and not red, <laughs> is quite hard for me to see, honestly. Um, especially against like the green, you know, the map. Um, but yeah, it, it's a very pretty skin. Maybe they might like tune the colors. Who knows? I wonder why green though. Like what? What does? Like, is Debonair itself green? Because isn't that like grey and like white? Like, and maybe a little bit like gold here and there? I don't know. I, maybe there is green and I'm just like that color line and I can't tell there's actually green. But yeah, that's the Leona skin. What do y'all think of the Debonair Leona skin? Let me know.